Mark Hunter, the Sales Center, and I want to talk for just a moment about engaging the customer after you've left their office, their home, whatever. Where this comes into play is many, many sales processes involve multiple steps. There may be one, two, three, four sales calls involved before you really get to the close. And the challenge is to keep that customer engaged. So here's two things that I want you to do to help you between steps. One, before you leave that sales call, make sure you've arranged for a next step. Part of the next step is customer engagement while you're not there. Ask them to do something for you. Ask them to do something for you might be, hey, I'm going to send you an email or I'm going to send you a link to something. Take a look at it and send me back your thoughts. Send me back your thinking. It might be, B, I'm going to leave you with this piece of paper here and would you take a look at it and, and give me a buzz back in a couple days. Let me know what you think. Or C, it might be, hey, put together some thoughts and, and email me back. Or, or thought. You see, what I'm doing is I'm trying to engage the customer while you're not there. Why? Because you're trying to keep the sales process moving even though you're not there. So the customer doesn't have you just fading out of their mind because it might be a week or two before you've arranged for your follow-up meeting due to one reason or another. And you want to keep that customer engaged. Now, along with that, I'm going to encourage you to also send them something of additional support. Send them something of additional support that gets them thinking about a benefit or an outcome, what they expect to gain from buying from you. Now, the way you do this is you do this two steps. One, you might say, great, John, we're going to be back together again in a week and a half. I'm looking forward to that meeting. But, but between now and then, would you mind taking a look at this and, and emailing me back your thoughts? Okay. Now, your objective is to get them to email that back to you within a couple of days. Okay. So you say, would you mind sending this back in a couple of days so I get your thinking and that'll help me reposition it? You can even send them an email. It says, hey, just wanted to remind you, if you don't mind, take, take a couple minutes and send me back your thoughts. But then a few days later, you can send them another email with some more information. In other words, what you're doing is you're keeping the sales process moving until you can get back there. I don't want to provide them with enough information to make a decision. I don't want to give them enough information to uh, shop me with somebody else. But I want to give them enough information to keep them engaged with me until I'm back with them that next time to be able to close the sale. Mark Hunter, the sales center, great selling.